Okay, so I'm just going to be doing a very short demonstration here on a logic checker. And so you can use a, a basic TTL topology design in order to do this. That's what I did in this case, but there may be other topology designs that you can also use in order to achieve the same thing. And so uh, basically when I have a low input into the system, this LED will uh, come on and then when I have a high into the system, the other one will come on as it is here. Now, it switched to high even before I put it in into the, uh, into the, uh, the socket there. And I'll just turn this, you know, maybe you can see it, the LEDs a little bit better if I turn it like that. This is going to indicate logic high and it switched even without that because it doesn't require it. That's because this type of a circuit uh, implies a high input if nothing is connected. So under the condition of a disconnect which is high impedance on the input it implies that it's high. And so that is how the circuit works. So that's a low and that's a high indication and it's implied to be high if it's completely totally disconnected. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is on to the high side I'm going to connect the motor and it's just going to drive a motor. This is a very basic uh, uh, 12 volt uh, brushless DC motor uh, that you will find like um, in, in a lot of different types of devices, maybe like a, a, uh, a computer cabinet, you know, like a, a computer enclosure, uh, anything that needs like a little fan going in, in there to, you know, keep it cool on the inside, then you're going to find this very basic, ordinary DC brush, brushless motor. Now, you don't have to, obviously, you, you don't have to operate it at 12 volts in order for it to come on. It's just that's the normal voltage that you would give to it and then it would give you you know a specified uh, speed of the motor and so forth. So that's the normal voltage but it's not necessary that it has to be exactly at 12 volts because in this case it's at 5 volts. And so as you can see here on the, uh, on the readout of, uh, of the power supply when I switch over to it and it comes on, you can see the amperage draw. And the amperage draw is attributed to what? The motor itself, right? Well, let's check. I'll disconnect the motor. That motor's disconnected. And we see that it goes all the way down to under 10 milliamps because the threshold of that is obviously 10 milliamps for a detection amount on the power supply. So again, I just connected my motor. So if I want to switch my motor on or off, then I can use this setup, this, this, uh, this circuit to do that. And so that's basically it for this demonstration. Really short demonstration on a, a, a logic indicator for a TTL design. Again, you can use other types of designs, but I just use TTL uh, for this design. And it's a logic uh, uh, indicator. And you can drive a motor with it or something else, something similar to that. Uh, if you want to do that. So that completes this, uh, this demonstration. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.